Anyways, welcome to a Zap Chat, guys. In Zap Chat, so we talk about things that, that are going on with the game. I haven't done this in a while. Um, if you guys have questions, put them in the chat. Uh, of course, you're welcome to join me on Voice on Discord and ask questions that way. Uh, put in here, here, you can always jump in, chime in with your thoughts. But um, there's, there's a big to do going on right now with resources for ships and other resources. And they've come up with this idea called the Armory Exchange, right? And basically what they're trying to do is they're trying to get you to get rid of resources in favor of other resources that you might need. Now, the, the reason why this is kind of a big deal, of course, is because um, players don't necessarily have the uh, most resources of everything. I mean, you guys saw I've got a lot of things, but, you know, I've... I've worked up my my time to get to that. So, uh, you know, that that's see if I go down a little bit, you can see how many credits and silver, whatever I have. Uh, but the thing is, you know, you've got the ability then to um, get a new ship, the Tashkent 39. Now, the Tashkent 39 is brand new. It's it's a uh, it's something that has been tested. Um Community contributors, super testers, whatnot, have had experience playing, of course, Wargaming employees as well, but the ship hasn't been fully released to the wild yet. So, we don't know the, the characteristics, and obviously I'm not going to talk about the characteristics from uh, from testing and that sort of thing. Okay. New to the channel? Last time you played was five years ago. Start maybe playing it, but now, so it's not... <laughs> uh, it's doing fine, it's just... um. There's a lot of changes to the game from five years ago. Welcome back, by the way. Um, so let's take a look at the Armory Exchange. So you've got this event that allows you to exchange resources that you might have a surplus of something for something that basically you want. Now, uh, you exchange a certain amount for your unwanted resources for vouchers in the Armory. Now, note that this event is available until Friday, May 19th, which is essentially that's two weeks from today, right? You got two weeks to decide if you want to do uh, to do this or not. Now the key here is um, it, it's a timed event, so you don't have a lot of time to really think about it. However, I would recommend caution. I would recommend you wait a little bit and just kind of see what's going on. There, there's no reason to just jump right in. There's no if there was a like a daily limit on how many. Um, you know, of these uh, vouchers you can exchange for and stuff like that, then I, I would I could say, um, you know, go for it, right? But it's not. So let's let's pause on it for a second. Just think about that. Vouchers can be exchanged for credits, elite commander XP, free XP, cold doubloons. Guys, why are they doing this? They're doing this because there are a lot of people with a large surplus of these different things. All right. I, I'm, I'm one of them. Um, and what they're trying to do is trying to get rid of large amounts of that. They're trying to equalize the in-game economy. Now, they did this before with the auction events. You may recall that they've, they've had credits for auction. They've had doubloons for auction. They had, I believe they had free XP for auction. Hell, they even had premium time. You could auction off premium time. Which I guess makes sense if you're like me with like 4,000 days of premium. Um, but, you know, you can do that. Now, according to the article, you can purchase bundles for just over a million credits, 45,000 Elite Commander XP, 15,000 Free XP, 2,000 Coal, 100 Doubloons, and there you go. There is your option. Blue Falcon's pointing at himself. <laughs> um, now... You can use your vouchers to obtain coal, free XP, elite commander XP, and credits. So basically, one of these gets you 300 coal. Now, it's interesting, in order to get one of those, you have to spend 2,000 coal. You, you see where I'm going here, right? Free XP, 1,250 free XP. Well, I mean, you spend 15,000 just... So, I want you to understand... If you are going from one resource to the next, you are losing a lot. If any of you have played the game Settlers of Catan, you may remember that you can exchange resources at ports. Uh, I think it was a 3 to 1 ratio, and then somewhere is a 2 to 1. Um, so you're, you're losing out any time you do this. 
I want to put that out there right off the bat. This is a very, very um, bad ratio. Okay, this is a this is a this is a ouch ratio, frankly. I mean, look at this. You can get one hundred fifty thousand credits when you spend over a million credits just to get the token. So, the reason why I know you're not gonna buy a voucher and then trade it in for credits later, but I want you to understand that relationship because if you look at all of them, forty five thousand elite commander XP, three thousand seven hundred fifty elite commander XP, you'll notice that it's terrible. As Snob says, this is worse than the currency exchange at the airport. You wouldn't go there, so why the hell are you going to it here? Like, in my opinion, there's no reason to do this, okay? Um, I get that maybe you might say, oh man, I'm I'm just this small amount away of, of finishing up my grind for blank ship. Um, so I want to get another, you know, 1,200 free X. Play another couple battles. Jeez, you know, like, to me, it's, to me, it seems silly to... Uh, to, to do this in general. Um, if you're really low on coal and you want to get, I don't know, a coal ship or something like that, frankly, there's other ways to get coal that are going to be easier for you. Like when they have brawls, there's typically coal available in brawl missions. Ranked, same thing. Um, so I feel like you have, you have a good amount um, a, a, of ability to grind these on your own. Now, that being said... I love what Wargaming did next. This is what I, I almost... <sighs> I love what they did next. If you want to, you can increase your earnings by putting in 100 doubloons on top of your token. So now, if I put in 100 doubloons, I get 25,000 Elite Commander XP instead of 3,750 wow this is i just i laughed so hard when i saw this you know what you know what i thought about this right um i i want you you got you guys have seen those like um balenciaga videos and stuff like that on youtube where people use ai to you know put various people in you know like whatever kinds of clothing and stuff right if you haven't like check it out it's pretty hilarious and they have ones too where they make everybody look ripped um, I almost want, I almost want to div, to delve into AI and turn Wargaming, like, community managers into Ferengi, like Star Trek Next Generation Ferengi. <laughs> when I see this, that's what I think of. I think I'm talking with a bunch of Ferengi. It's hilarious. It's hilarious that they would do this. Um, but okay, they're doing it anyways, and I'm sure they've got stuff that makes them think that. Putin, were you about to say something? Keep going, because you sold me on exchanging all my credits for more credits. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, yes, you have gold plus platinum. We can deal. <laughs> think of Jablunz as gold plus platinum, right? Oh my goodness. Hey, Alex. So, um, yeah, to to me this is comical, um, and I'm gonna say this right now and. People know I'm a community contributor and all that kind of stuff, and um, I've always believed that you know you try to stay neutral and, and show both sides of the party. But this is something I look at, and I'm just like, I can't believe Wargaming did this. I can't believe that they are just, you know, this is a monetization scheme, okay? Plain and simple. This is a way that they can monetize because they can get the doubloons. And people are like, well, I want to get more out of what I'm doing, so they're going to toss the doubloons in. And 100 doubloons isn't a big deal. Now, you do this 10 times, now you're at 1,000 doubloons. Now that's starting to add up. Um, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, so, I don't, I don't like this. I think it's silly. And I would highly recommend that you don't do this at all for a certain reason. For, and that would be if you are trying to exchange these things into into these things this is a terrible trade this is a hundred percent terrible trade even if you add the doubloons to it it's still a freaking terrible trade so i would not do it if you are looking to exchange something to something else guys if you want to exchange something to something else play the game more and leave your stash alone there's no way in hell I am going to use any of my 1.7 billion credits in this exchange to trade them into something else. 
Why would I want to do that? Why am I going to spend my doubloons to add something else to it? It's the, it's the worst thing you could possibly do. There's no way. Because if you think about it, what you're doing is you're hurting yourself long term. You're helping yourself in the short term to, I don't know, like I said, finish up a ship, get a commander to 19 point, 21 point, whatever. But if you just play the damn game a little bit longer, you'll get there on your own anyways. So, don't, don't. trade offer in your port. No! <laughs> no! No, 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 no. Don't do it, okay? Please. Please. It pains me to see people saying that they've done this. Now, that being said, there is one reason, and only one reason in my opinion, that you might want to do this. And that is, if I scroll down farther, that is because you can obtain these ships. Now, what I like about this event, what I will give Wargaming credit for in this event, is that they have a specific number of of vouchers in order to obtain these ships a specific number of vouchers i was i was expecting when i was looking at this last night i was expecting to scroll down and you know what i was expecting to see you can buy a container that has one of these three ships plus a whole bunch of other crap that you really don't need or want that's what i was expecting to see them do so the fact that they didn't do that the fact that you can get a ship for a specific number is nice is nice and i will i will thank wargaming for doing that because i feel like that is the right way to go if you're going to do an event that requires a huge investment in resources at least let people choose where those resources go so i do like that all right bums hello um i do like that and fish rock the uh hornet is the um uh, is is the uh original hornet not the essex class hornet Okay, um, so that's that's something I just want to mention right now. If you want to get the ship, turn the music down just a little bit. If you want to get the ship, you can. Gorizia and Hood are more expensive, and this is something that's interesting too, because both of these ships have been released before, and a good number of people already have these ships. So honestly, I wouldn't I wouldn't be spending the tokens to get these ships. The Hood's okay. I never liked it, but there are, I know there are people that swear by it. It got buffed after I played a lot of it. Um, the Garizia is like... I like to call it a skill cannon. Uh, you're either really good with it, or most likely you're really crap with it. Because it's a much more difficult Italian cruiser to play. Because it, if I remember right, it does not have the fuel smoke. Or it does, but it's missing something else. I can't remember off the top of my head. Puddin, do you remember? I just put Puddin on spot. <laughs> nope. I have no clue. Okay. So, let's be real. If you're doing this event at all, it should be to pick up the Tashkent 39. Because it's a new ship. We don't know exactly. It has smoke, so it probably doesn't have torpedoes. There's something that's missing in Gorizia compared to the regular cruiser lane. But in any case, to me, you're doing this event to get the Tashkent 39 if you're going to do it. If you're going to do it. It has no torps. Thank you. That's what I was... That, okay, I knew it was missing something compared to the others. Um, so, anyways... Here's your Tashkent 39. Tashkent 39 is a destroyer flotilla leader. Okay, whatever. Um, but we don't know anything else about it. Now, I believe... I believe that the ship... Um, the stats of the ship and stuff were in the dev block. And you can look those up yourself and make your determination. Um, if, if you want it or not. But the reason why I'm saying wait... Before you even decide to go all in on this. Is because... Well... If the, if the Tashkent 39, I don't know what the NDA is on it. I could look it up, I guess, but I can't even tell you if it's going to come out of NDA or not. But um, if the Tashkent's NDA comes off, comes off um, within that two-week period, then you'll have the opportunity to take a look at what's going on with various ships, right? With the Tashkent. You can watch myself and other people uh, play the Tashkent and make a decision for yourself if... Uh, if it's if it's something that you want to uh, go into or not, but until that uh, until that has uh, come out, um, oh wait, I can actually talk about. I can show it. Uh, well, I was gonna say, isn't it sitting in the armory, which technically yeah. means it's up on DA? Yeah, that's no. You're absolutely correct because everybody can buy it now. I can show it. So later on in the stream, if we do some tier seven grind assist, I'll show off the Tashian thirty nine. We'll play some. So, in any case, back up, watch other people play the ship, 
Watch the other content. Make the determination for yourself. First of all, if you even want the damn thing. Okay? Then you got your Gracia, you got your other stuff. Um, pull on me for not paying attention to NDA dates. But I, I do that because I always I always worry I'll screw something up and say something about NDA when it, I shouldn't. So it's easier just to stay away from it. Um, now, if you get the ships, you get uh, you get these special missions that give you extra things. Yay. And then you also get a special commemorative flag. Which means nothing. It's just something you can wave and just flaunt if you want. Um, so, how, how much is this? It's 83 armory vouchers. 83 armory vouchers. So let's go back up. Uh, and let's go with credits. So I'm going to pull up, up my uh, handy dandy calculator. 83 times 1125000. That's 93 million credits. 93.375 million credits. So you're going to spend almost a billion of your credits. Or no, almost 100 million of your credits, I should say, in order to pick up a, uh, a, a ship. You could also use doubloons, right? Surges, thank you. That's 8,300 8, doubloons because uh, you can buy them here at 100 apiece. Um, so you can decide for yourself if that's something that you want. Um, counting on your fingers, 83 vouchers is 166,000 coal. Now, you don't have to go all in with that, right? You can, you can do the lion's share with credits and then you can add a little bit of doubloons. You can add a little bit of coal and stuff like that. I like that. I think that is kind of cool. So if you really want this ship and you don't want to spend the money outright, you can use other resources in order to obtain it. That I do agree with. I think that's kind of cool. Um, but the idea of I'm going to exchange one of these for something right below, I, I think is, is terrible. I think it's absolutely dumb. Okay. Uh, obviously, you control your own decision making when it comes to what you're going to pick up. If it's worth it to you, it's worth it to you. And I and nobody else should tell you if it's worth it to you. Okay. So, I mean, I'm just giving you my, my opinion on that. But ultimately, it's your decision to make if you want to make the exchanges. But in any case, the real reason for this event is the Tashkent 39. The other thing to keep in mind is... I've seen people say, well, I can always maybe get it later in another event or something like that. Wargaming, of course, has a history of ships that are released overtuned are removed from sale. Enterprise is a great example of that. Nobody can buy an Enterprise even anymore, even though a whole bunch of changes have actually fixed it. So at some point, I'm hoping Enterprise will come back out again. But you see where I'm going with this. If this ship is, is released as is, as she is released as is, instead of nerfing the ship, they will just simply prevent sales. So, in my opinion, uh, you know, again, watch. Watch what people do with the ship, if they're able to make it work or not. Make your own determination if it's worth it for you to get those tokens and, and get the ship. Okay? That, that's, that's all there is to it. Um, you got two weeks. Take your time. There's no rush. It's not like they have a limited number of Tashkins, and once they all sell out, they're done. Either way you look at it, they will screw you for demounting your resources. Then we'll do events, and whales will open the wallets. That is money making. Oh yeah. I mean, this is this is a video game that that's uh, out there to make money, and them making money is what keeps the servers going and stuff like that. And I I get you know. There's that whole argument of how dare you monetize the game, but hey, it's a free-to-play game, and it's a game that um, I've been happily addicted to for seven years. I've only given them $20 in seven years, and that $20 actually went to the Texas, so Wargaming pockets at zero of that $20. So what do I get in return? I get enjoyment. I get experience. I get, I get fun. I get relaxation. I was playing this game for what three years before i even started recording stuff on youtube with my replay theater on youtube and then started um streaming on twitch and stuff like that obviously now i've got a deeper relationship with wargaming than i had before but you know regardless um this is a game that i've enjoyed uh thoroughly for you know uh, perpetuity um everybody's gonna be different and, and that's okay that's all right. That's quite all right.
All right, guys. Any other questions you want to ask about uh, before we end the Zath chat? Uh, Putin, do you want to add anything? Uh, no. Okay. Well, I hope that answered you guys' questions, Chad. If there's anything else, feel free to ask. But, uh, yeah, that basically covers the Zat Chat. Thanks for listening. It's been a while since I've been able to do one of these, so this was kind of fun.